Let's learn about advanced substitution in lesson 65. It wants us to solve for all four variables. We have a RW, TW, RV, uh, and a TB. And it wants us to solve for all those. So advanced substitution is just going to test our substitution skills. All right, how well can we plug things in? <clears throat> so let's see what we know. Uh, if I have RB equals 3RW, then I know the value of RB. So what I can do is plug in this right here, and I get 3RW uh, TB equals 6. Well, fun fact, I also know what TB equals. So since I know what TB equals, I'm going to plug that in and multiply it. 2 minus T W equals 6. And now from here, I know I still have two variables, but watch what's going to happen. I multiply and distribute 6 R W minus 3 R W T W. That equals 6. Well, do we know what R W is? Nah. Do we know what R W T W is? Those are two separate variables. However, we actually know the value of RW, TW. We know that it's 6. So since we know that value, we can plug that in right here and be left to one variable of RW. So I write 6RW minus 3 times 6 equals 6. And that's all advanced substitution is from here. Y'all got it easy peasy. Lemon squeezy cheesy on my kneesy. 6RW minus 18 equals 6. Add 18 to both sides. 24 equals 6RW. Divide by 6. RW equals 4. Have we solved? Not yet. We want all of the variables. We want RW, RB, TB, all these things. So we know RW, but it is easy from this point. I plug in RW here. Well, that'd be 3 times 4. So RB, love RBs. I'm thinking RBs equals 12. 4 times 3, 12. Now, we find TW and TB. So I'm going to plug in 4 for here. 4 T dot the W. It's a weird W. Equals 6 divided by 4. So TW equals 6 over 4 reduced is 3 over 2. And then from there, we solve for TB. I plug in RB right there. 12 TB equals 6. Easy peasy. Divide by the 12. 1 half equals TB. So now we know all four of our variables. So that's the idea on advanced substitution. They give, another, they give another example problem, and I'm just going to show you what it does. Say it looked like this. Say D looked like, um, say D looked like TB plus TW equals 2. Well, remember that we can isolate TB or TW by subtracting one or the other, you know, it's just trying to, this is the only step that's added in the other example. So there's no need to do a whole other one. It's the same exact thing. But that, that is it. Now you know the value of TB. So that's just kind of teaching advanced substitution. But that's all it is. That's advanced substitution. And that's the end of lesson 65.